Hello friends, 438 days over. While Ukrainian spring offensive is still awaited, the Russians carried out huge interdiction missions from Black Sea and even using drones and air power against Ukrainian targets in Sumy, Chernihiv, Kiev, Kharkiv and other regions. While in this attack, the Ukrainian forces claims to have shot down hypersonic missile, at least one of them, first time with the use of Patriot air defense system. In southern Ukraine, the Ukrainian drones reached Crimea and Sevastopol, though they could not damage anything as they were intercepted by Russian air defense and shot down. Nothing special extra to report from Zaporizhia or Kherson region. While in north, the Russian forces carried out limited offensive in northwest of Kupians and towards Crimea direction without any gains. While in northeast towards Belgorod, the Ukrainian forces carried out attacks with some minor gains. While in east, nothing in Nugledar, while in Marinka, severe battle is on in and around the city. In Odivka, Ukrainian forces conducted a limited, though successful, counteroffensive towards southwest, while also in Soledar, Ukrainian counteroffensive north of Soledar towards Sako E. Vanseti and gained some ground. These counteroffensive or limited local attacks by the Ukrainian troops at various places, including Bakhmut, is not part of the bigger planned. Spring offensive, but part of their tactics to contain the Russian offensive. On Bakhmut front, Ukrainian sources claim that PMC continues its reinforcements in Bakhmut as well as towards Sivir's direction, and there are no signs of its withdrawal as it has been claimed by the PMC chief that they will withdraw by 10th of this month. Chechen head has said that in case of PMC withdrawal, its forces Akhmat will replace PMC Wagoner by 10th May and both the sides have agreed. Let us see how it develops. On ground, ISW reports that the Russian forces are continuing making marginal gains inside Bakhmut. PMC is fighting along a street of liberators of Donbass while the Russian forces are pushing through in northwest towards Pobedi and Tolbukhin streets. Clashes are also on towards Tchaikovsku street and Russian forces have managed to gain some land towards Irene Levchenko and Tolbukhina street. In totality, Ukraine only controls now approximately 2% of Bakhmut while the Russians are controlling 95% and rest have fallen into what you call neutral zone or grey area. In the meantime, attacker of Zakhar Prilopin stated that he blew up the car with anti-tank mines and Ukraine on its part does not accept nor deny that he was its own employee. Now UK will provide long-range missiles to Ukraine to help Kiev bypass so-called US imposed limits which had said that only weapons for self-defense would be provided to Ukraine but we knew that time also this was just buying time. These missiles will have a range close to 300 kilometers with modern ECMs, nav systems and more lethal munitions or warheads. On protest front in India, in New Delhi, huge protest is brewing up in support of women wrestlers and athletes against sexual harassment. Thank you friends. See you tomorrow.